Hello everybody, Chris at ePianos here. Today in the shed with the Yamaha PSR SX900 keyboard. And I wanted to show you songwriters out there uh, or aspiring songwriters what a great tool this keyboard is for helping you to write songs and come up with inspiration. Um, what I'll do is basically write a pop stroke rock song from scratch using some of the styles on here and the excellent chord looper feature to give you an idea of how easy it is to get something that sounds really pro and just might start those creative fires going in you. So first thing I'm going to do is choose an appropriate style of music and I'm going to go for this one here called UK Soft Rock because it's pretty middle of the road shall we say uh, in that I can Use, use this and then craft it either way into something more in a style that I actually want for an end result. Let me give you an idea of what this sounds like. I'll just give you a little blast of it. So you can hear it's a, uh, as I said, pretty middle of the road, basic rock uh, style. but. What I'm gonna do is come up with a chord sequence, first of all, using, and have it loop around some chords using the chord looper feature, uh, which on your uh, SX900, if you've got one at home, might not be here. You might have to find it in the menu section um, by going into menu uh, two, or is it menu one? And some, there it is, chord looper will be there, but I've set it to be one of my shortcuts just here. So opening up chord looper, I'm going to keep these chords ultra, ultra basic. Okay, so for the first verse, I'm just going to use um, C and F, I think. So this is the process for doing it. We, I'm going to start off with variation A because it's good in the th for the first verse of a song and press record on the chord looper. I could do this on the screen as well, actually. Press record just here. And now it's ready for me to play that first chord and it'll start going as soon as I do it. And to keep it even simpler for you, um, for you perhaps non-musicians or people that are just getting into controlling a keyboard or a guitar, I'm setting it to single fingered settings. So I don't actually have to play a full three fingered chord. I could just play the root note, for example, a C, and it will automatically complete the rest of the chord for me. I'm just playing one note and it's completing the rest. So here we go, this is gonna be the first verse. Okay, and I stopped it there just when we got to the end of the, um, of the first verse section. And I can preview it by pressing this uh, blue button, or in fact on the screen look, on and off here and press start and it'll play around that sequence. Now I'm happy with that so I want to commit it to memory on here. So what I'm going to do is put it in that top left hand box by pressing memory and number one. There it goes. It even displays the chords on there or uh, the first part of them anyway, so C, F, C, F. Okay, so for the second verse, uh, not the second verse, sorry, the, the uh, bridge of the song, I'm going to choose um, some other chords, and this the bridge is kind of what you get between the first verse and the chorus, so um, if you're not into songwriting, you'll know this from most pop and rock songs out there. They'll play a verse, and then they'll have something called a bridge, which kind of leads you up to the uh, crescendo of the chorus. So. To set this going again, I'm going to press record, stop on the chord looper. I know what chords I'm going to play in advance or roughly in my head, um, but this takes a bit of practice beforehand. So I'm going to change the variation to B because it feels a bit more uplifted. So I'm going to start with F again. go and let's preview that
okay that's working quite well so I'm going to go to memory and then push number two to save it onto the keyboard's memory so now I've got a first verse and I've got a bridge and for the chorus I'm going to need three other chords so I'm just going to have a quick playthrough and I think I'm going to play C E minor F G on repeat so let us set this going again so record here change to a higher style higher style variation and play Okay, so there's my chorus ones, and I'm going to put those into the memory at number three by pressing memory number three. So let's just have a playthrough in sequence of our first verse, our bridge, and our chorus. And I'm going to use the style control down here to kind of lift the song as we go along, starting with A, which is the most gentle, then B, which is kind of more instruments come in and give it a boost then C we start hearing orchestral strings and things like that coming in too so this is what it sounds like as a bit of a preview and bearing in mind how quickly I've put this together this is why it's such a good little tool for coming up with song ideas so the looper is on and it's ready to go all I need to do is press play here and it will start looping those chords for me Go to the next one. Might go back to the first verse. So I'm getting a bit carried away there because uh, in my mind as a songwriter I'm starting to think about melodies on top of these songs um, and I can start inputting those now um, and this is where it is such a great tool because I, at the minute I'm using piano but I could change my voice to something else like a let's say an upright piano or even a stage piano or a guitar anything I like so I think I'm going to stick with something like uh, there's a nice piano here called ambient piano that I like and while the chords are playing I'm going to just start working on a melody for this song so I'm going to start it off with the first verse get the looper going and just tinker with a few melody ideas off the top of my head
go. I'm getting carried away again, but that's what it's all about. It's all about coming up with these ideas as a songwriter or a composer and using the tools we've got on here to just get you going to the next stage. Uh, incidentally, on Chord Looper, one of the other reasons I like it for bringing inspiration is the fact that I don't have to continue using uh, that style. I could very well change it to a, a different style of music. Uh, and this is also, it can be quite funny sometimes when you choose one that's not appropriate. But I chose UK soft rock here, but I could change that to something like uh, a uh, US electro pop. And let's just hear the difference that makes if we're using a different style of music altogether. This might be a bit weird, so bear, bear with me. Uh, loop is on. So that one's going a bit strange, um, but let's go in and choose something that's probably not far away. So if we look at the tempo, it's 82. Now I'll get something that's not too far off of 82, shall we? And it'll probably work reasonably well, uh, like a soulful ballad. Let's try that. Get the looper on again. There we go. So yeah, that works quite well, doesn't it? Um, slightly different style of music there. Let's just try one more before we go. Uh, 90s Aussie pop there. So go back to chord looper, get the chord looper on, press play. Works.
what a great tool for songwriters, for inspiration, just getting you going. Um, you can go in and you can revoice the styles, you can cut the styles right down to the basic elements that I'll cover in uh, a future video. But I hope that was helpful to you and uh, yeah, what a great tool for getting those songwriting ideas going, eh? Thanks very much for watching. Um, do me a favour, would you? And press the little thumbs up icon underneath the video. It helps YouTube see our videos. And don't forget to press subscribe as well to be notified when we do the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you in the next one.